Hey guys, what's happening? Thanks for tuning in, coming back and watching. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well, staying safe, taking care of yourselves, all those kind of things. If you're new here, I'm Jim. Great to meet you. Thanks for stopping by. I make tutorial videos here every week showing you how I edit my photos using various software products. Today I'm in Luminar AI and I'm basically just using templates and some custom edits, some local masks to quickly take a photo that I really like to a photo that I really love. Let me show you the shot. It's right here. This was taken in the lovely city of Copenhagen, absolutely stunning area. And I like the photo a lot, but there's some things I'd like to do to it. So I'm starting out by using templates and seeing what they suggest. So you click on templates and you can see in the upper right corner it says for this photo, that's the AI suggesting particular templates based on the contents of the image. So if I click on overcast, there's a couple of different ones that come up. I like this dynamic result. I think that looks pretty nice. It's a little bit uh, not punchy enough for me color wise. I just do like my colors, but that came up. I liked that quite a bit. And then also in this waterscapes, there's one called deep focus. And if I click on that, there you go. I like that quite a bit. That's more in line with what I wanted to do. A little bit punchier, a little bit more exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and stay with that one. And now that I've got that selected, I'm gonna click edit and head over here and customize the image a little bit. Now the first thing I wanna do, I think it's slightly crooked and I wanna crop it a little bit. So I'm gonna to go to composition AI and I'm just gonna crop in a little bit, something about like that and Let's see, maybe about like that. And I think it's slightly crooked. I can never really tell, but I think that looks fine. And I'm gonna hit enter and get ready to edit. Okay, and there we go. And you can see on this right-hand side here, light, enhance AI, structure, color, denoise, things like that were added as a component of this template. There's a couple of things I'd like to do. I like to bring up a little bit of the detail in those buildings. So I'm gonna to go to details and I'm gonna go ahead and increase the medium details and the small details just a little bit. And then what I wanna do is paint those in. So I've got the painting brush here. I'm gonna go ahead and just start painting those across the buildings so that they get a little bit crispier. And there you go, just a couple of moments of masking. If I hit the forward slash key, you can see how the mask has been applied. I'm gonna go ahead and close that. However, I'm gonna use that mask again. So I'm gonna click here and say copy so I can hang on to that mask. And now I'm done with that. And what I wanna do is go into the local masking tool. So I'm gonna click on local masking and add and basic. And what I wanna do is copy that mask here. So I'm gonna click there and just say paste. So I've already copied the mask. Now it's pasted onto this local masking tool. So if I hit forward slash, you can see the mask is basically arrived. So you can do that. You can copy masks from the traditional tools like on the essentials tab and paste those into a local mask if you've already used that mask. Uh, somewhere in the photo. So there you go. That is in place. And what I want to do is just basically increase the exposure slightly, very slightly. I don't want to do very much. Just want to give those buildings a little bit more pop because they do have a lot of color. And also going to add a tiny bit of AI structure to them and maybe a little bit of vibrance as well. There you go. Pretty minor stuff, really not a big move, but there you go. There's before. You can see they're a little bit darker, a little less punchy and after you can see that they've popped a nice little bit. So I think that looks pretty good. Now I'm gonna add another basic texture. And once again, I'm gonna copy the mask. I'm gonna say paste, except this time I'm gonna go ahead and click invert because what I wanna do here is work on the sky and the water. And if you've seen my videos before, you know I like to do negative structure in skies and water. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm just pulling that structure down. Let me show you the mask. I'm gonna hit the forward slash key to do that. And you can see the mask is basically the opposite of what I'd done in the building. So again, I created this mask on the details tool on the essentials tab, and then I copied it. And then on the first local mask, the, the first basic one at the bottom here, I painted or pasted that mask in and then used it to increase the exposure and the structure on the buildings. Then I copied that mask again on this tool and inverted it. So it's the opposite of that mask. And in other words, I've now created a mask for the sky and the water, and I'm using that to reduce the structure, in other words, to smooth them. So you can do those kind of things with Luminar AI. It works great, super easy, and I think that's looking pretty good. Now that I've got that in place, I'm gonna go back to the Essentials tab. I'm gonna go to Color. This is gonna apply globally. I'm on Saturation. I'm just gonna pull the saturation of the blue down a little bit. I don't wanna overdo the blue because it was, it was kind of, a, not quite electric, but it was pretty blue. And I'm gonna pull that down just a little bit, something about like that. And now I'm going to enhance AI, I'm getting accent AI, and I'm gonna pull that up just a tiny bit, basically trying to create a little bit more visibility or uh, luminance in the, in the water, basically. 
So there we go. I think that looks good. And that's it, really. I mean, there's not a whole lot to do. I've probably got a couple of spots in the sky. I can go remove those with the erase tool, but let me show you the before and after. There's the before. And there's the after, and if I do the sliding window, you can see the impact we've had on the photo. I think it really pops. I think the buildings stand out based on some of the moves that I did. I think the sky and water look fantastic. And that was it, really. Just use a template as my base, and then go into edit, customize things with composition, a few tool moves, and then creating that mask on details, and copying it, and then inverting it on the local mask as well to isolate specific areas of the photo. It's quick, it's easy, it's, it's frankly, it's fun. And that's how I would do it on this one with Luminar AI. So one more time, here's the before and the after. Just a few minutes of work, and it would be a lot quicker if I wasn't sitting here talking. But that's how it works. Just wanted to give you a quick demo of that. And thanks for watching, my friends. I really appreciate it. you guys. Take care of yourselves out there. I'll see you later, and adios.